Jiu Ding is the oldest nationally celebrated commemoration of the ending of slavery in the United States. June 19, 1865 was the day when it was announced by the Union soldiers at Galveston, Texas that the war has ended and the enslaved were now free. The news of end of slavery was delayed by the enslavers to maintain the labor force. One of General Granger's first orders of business was to read to the people of Texas the General Order No. 3, which began most significantly with The people of Texas are informed that in accordance with a proclamation from the Executive of the United States, all slaves are free. This involves an absolute equality of rights and rights of property between former masters and slaves. And the connection heretofore existing between them becomes that between employer and hired labor. Recounting the memories of that great day in June of 1865, the celebration of June 19th was coined as Juneteenth. The Juneteenth celebration was a time for reassuring each other, for praying and for gathering remaining family members. Rodeos, fishing, barbecuing and baseball are just a few of the typical Juneteenth activities you may witness today. Certain foods became popular and subsequently synonymous with Juneteenth celebrations such as strawberry soda pop. Dress was also an important element in early Juneteenth customs and is often still taken seriously. In short, it was a day of huge celebration. When the urbanization started, classroom textbooks proclaimed Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation of January 1st, 1863 as the date signaling the ending of slavery and little or nothing on the impact of General Granger's arrival on June 19th. Urbanization killed the joy. Employers were not able to grant leaves to celebrate this day. Again in 1968, led by Ralph Albernetti, Juneteenth received another strong resurgence through Poor People's March to Washington, D.C. In fact, two of the largest Juneteenth celebrations founded after this march are now held in Milwaukee and Minneapolis. On January 1st, 1980, Juneteenth became an official state holiday 